What's up? I'm Jack here today for LFC Transfer Room to talk about Pedro Gonçalves, a forward for Sporting Lisbon, 22-year-old, had a great season in the Portuguese league, scoring 23 goals, linked to Liverpool for a £52 million move, which would activate his release clause. Lots to know about the player, so I brought in Aaron Barton to talk to me more about the player. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and let's get right into it. Pedro Gonçalves, 22-year-old forward for Sporting, 23 goals and 32 appearances has linked him to a host of clubs after a $7 million move from Familicao. Talk to me more about him is Aaron Barton, a football journalist specializing in Portuguese football and the founder of Proxima Jordana. So Pedro Gonçalves, or Put, as he's known in Portugal, is um, he's quite a hard player to categorize, I think, because of his versatility and his attack and roles. Usually he'll play because Sporting will play with a uh, like a back three or back five or whatever you want to call it. He people often categorize him as like a as a winger, but he's not really that. He's more of an inside forward. And um, so they will usually play a central striker in perhaps the likes of Thiago Tomas. And then behind you will have Nuno Santos on the on the left, Pedro Gonçalves on the right. And then as I say, the they tend to stay quite narrow because they play with high and wide wing back, so the likes of Nuno Minch, Pedro Pojo. So there's no real need for him to sort of drift out into those areas. Uh, he likes to be, as I say, central to things, involved in build up. He will drop deep, um, almost like a like a midfielder, like a central midfielder. And um, he likes to play short one two passes, likes to knit things together. Um, get shots off from distance. Quite a few of his goals this season of um, just him sort of travelling with the ball, giving himself an angle and and hitting it. I and mean, as I say, yeah, this season has really been where he's exploded. He did well last season at Familicao, but it was really this season where in the sporting side it was, especially early on, he was the main man. Now, Gonçalves has had a pretty interesting journey through the footballing ranks, starting in the Wolves Academy, U21 player there, to playing for Sporting this most recent season, winning a title in Portugal. Early on in his, he had a bit of a strange career beginnings, to be honest, because, I mean, if you just talk about, like, the, the days he was at Wolves, I mean, the Wolves fans now are kicking themselves because, obviously, with the Portuguese thing they've got going on at the club, and the fact that he was there, he played for their under-23 side, didn't really sort of crack it or get 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 into the first team picture apparently he was really homesick as well and wanted to go back to portugal so obviously if he was thinking he you know wasn't really going to get an opportunity and and then he yeah as i say goes back abroad or, or back home th for him in his case goes to familiar cow does well you know d does well and, and familiar cow themselves done well especially under joel pedro Sousa at the start of when they'd just been promoted but then, as I say, he's, he's took it to another level, just like so many of the other players have. And as I say, I think it's that confidence. Now, when you see a player have a great season like this, a, a very common worry is, is this a one-off thing? Is this 23 goals a season sustainable? Aaron certainly seems to think so. He's got all the attributes to score 20 goals a season because he's got a great awareness he, he, in terms of his, his attack and positional sense is brilliant. He drops into pockets at the right time. You know, he's able to play off other players. Uh, he's got a brilliant strike on him. You know, some of his goals this season are absolutely ludicrous in terms of like quality. Uh, and as I say, he seems to find himself in the right space. And you don't score 23 goals because every single goal is an absolute worldie. You score 23 goals because you know where to be at the right time. And, and I think you can't buy that. And the way that Gonçalves plays for the sporting side is not too dissimilar to the way Mohamed Salah plays. A, a player on the right who likes to tuck inside for an overlapping wing back. Um, sporting play a back three, back five, so more support for the wing backs to go forward. But Liverpool definitely like to see Trent Alexander Arnold go forward. So on the right wing, he can definitely accent Trent very well. And he could find himself in a similar position, similar need in the Liverpool squad to his Portuguese counterpart, Dugo Jota. Just speaking football and wise, I don't see why there's no reason he, he wouldn't do a good job uh, in Liv at, at Liverpool. Be hard to displace, sort of one of one of those attackers at first, um, but we'll see. I think one of the things that Liverpool sort of suffered with this season is obviously they had the defensive issues and stuff. But I think that the front three at times looked a little bit not stale, but it was when you saw Diogo Jota come in and it sort of hit the ground running. 
and you know we were scoring match winners every week i think so to that just to shake it up and have a little bit of competition but then again would would Gonçalves be happy with with a reduced role we start every single week for sport i think he'd be starting next week uh, next season in in the champions league in each game for, for sport i think but then you know at the end of the day money talks and also the pearl are a massive club you know one of the biggest clubs in the world playing in what people deem it to be the best league in the world so we'll see we'll see thanks a ton to aaron for coming on to the channel make sure to check out prosimo jordana for all of your portuguese football needs we'll make sure to have him on the channel again if you need to know about any other portuguese football players linked to the liverpool football club would you be interested in seeing pedro gonchavez come to liverpool 52 million pounds at a lot a good price maybe a steal for a player who could be tremendous let us know in the comments how much you would pay for him would you buy him and what other transfer targets you want to see us make videos like this about so for myself jack this has been a video from the LOC transfer room make sure to subscribe and i'll catch you next time take care